of the reasons why companies move their workloads to the cloud is to take advantage of the cost savings benefit that the cloud promises. However, according to a recent article by the Wall Street Journal, CIOs are yet to reap the benefits of their investments in the cloud. So what are companies doing wrong and how can we fix this? Hi, my name is Dume BOT and I'm a FinOps consultant at Google Cloud. If you're moving your workload to the cloud, then you need to watch this video till the end as I'll be sharing three ways for you to get the most value for your cloud investment. The first way is to have a proper migration plan and strategy in place. From experience, companies typically underestimate the time required for this phase and thus run into problems that force them to move back on-prem or to find a reactive solution in the cloud, which ends up being even more costly. To avoid this, it is important to dedicate enough time, and this would depend on the complexity of your environment and your workload. Also, ensure that there is a clear business case for each workload to be migrated to the cloud. It is so important to get clear on a migration type. Is it a lift and shift? Is it a replatforming? Is it a complete modernization? For workloads that you lift and shift, remember to have a plan in place to optimize them in the cloud. The second way is to leverage the available pricing features within Google Cloud. These include sustained use discounts, committed use discounts, preemptible VMs, spot VMs, custom machine type, and per second billing. Oftentimes, customers do not leverage this early on in the process and inquire costs that could have otherwise been saved. Finally, the third way to get the most value for your cloud investment is to think of your cloud costs in terms of unit metrics and business value metrics. It is easy to quantify cloud spend, but may be quite tricky to measure the benefits. And this is why people may feel like their investments are not paying off. So yes, while your compute costs may have increased by 10% in the last month, you need to take it a step further and ask more questions. Has your cost per product stayed the same? or even decreased? Have your engineers been able to leverage BigQuery ML or other Google services to innovate faster? Have you reduced your time to market? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then you've potentially realized some value in your cloud investments. So if you implement any of the tips listed in this video, you're on the right track to getting the most value for your cloud investments. Thank you, and I'll see you again in the next video.